Today, we are taking you on an exclusive behind the scenes tour of a major Olympic weightlifting competition. We're diving deep into the heart of the action, exploring what really happens backstage in the warm up area as athletes gear up for the lift of their lives. So, what's the warm up area like? It's a hive of activity, buzzing with tension, anticipation, and adrenaline. Here, you'll find athletes from different clubs, each with their unique preparation rituals. Some may be pacing around, lost in thought. Others might be talking with their coaches, discussing last-minute strategies. Weightlifting platforms line the area. Each athlete or team, or maybe even two teams, will be sharing. There's a lot of activity at the back with athletes cycling through their warm-up sequences. And they'll start with lighter weight and gradually ramp up to their opening lifts. Now, you'll hear the encouraging shouts and cues given by coaches and the focus of athletes. I mean, it's just an electric environment. Now, this is where coaches play a vital role. They will see how ready the athletes are advising on technical aspects, but most importantly, at that stage, they are providing them with emotional support. It's a delicate dance of timing and tactics as coaches also keep an eye on the competition progress, ready to adjust their strategies on the fly. Then on the side, you'll see officials managing the marshalling table, the central hub where lifts are basically written down, changed, recorded. Athletes or coaches approach this table to basically declare or change their next attempt, adding another layer of strategy to the intense game. Meanwhile, the athletes are in their own world. They've got earphones in, they're visualizing their lifts, mentally rehearsing each phase, the setup, the pull, the catch. Some athletes might seem almost meditative. Others are pumped up and raring to go. Now, in the final moments before they step onto the platform, the atmosphere is electrifying. Coaches provide a few final words of encouragement, and then it's showtime. Now, you'll also see that each athlete and each coach has their different ways of getting them psyched up to go onto the main platform. Now, we started, Eli, with 106 kilograms in the snatch which was a PR attempt, and I wouldn't normally start any athlete this high. But Eli showed that he could do it in the warm-up area, and we discussed beforehand what weights we needed to go for in order to stand on the podium at the USA Weightlifting Nationals. Now, Eli got his first attempt. He then missed his second attempt on 110. I could see that this was so close, and Eli knew what we had to do in order for him to then get his third attempt. Now, Eli is normally that if athlete who is a competitor. He performs great on the competition platform, more so than he does in training. Now, after Eli got that one team, this gave him the gold in the snatch. Now, after that, we started the clean and jerk on 125 kgs, which was another PR attempt. Now, he missed his first attempt, but we knew we couldn't go heavier, so we stayed at 125. Now, Eli had quite a big rest in between lift one and two, and he ended up making his second attempt. Um, we ended up knowing that with the high elevation that, you know, Eli just needed a little bit more rest in order to get that 125. He went out there and he got it. We then went to 128, which would have been a really massive jump. And he unfortunately missed that, but we still stepped away with a gold and in the total as well. Now, Eli made a 235 kg total in the under 23s and in the under 67 kg weight class. So we had a really successful competition. But all in all, it was really successful. Eli stepped away with the gold medal. Now, and that, folks, is a sneak peek into the backstage of the USAW Nationals 2023, a world where mental strength and physical power collide. Now, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow lifting enthusiasts. Remember to subscribe for more insider look into the world of weightlifting. For more comprehensive resources, check us out at liftbigeatbig.com. Until next time, and remember, strength isn't just physical, it's a state of mind.